prime my eyes um, with my um, Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. I've already done my eyebrows as well, and I just basically used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Browies in the shade Ebony. Um, I did a little bit of color correcting, but I am going to be trying out a new foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation, and I picked mine up from Ulta. I actually ordered one from Amazon, but I didn't think it was going to get here in time, so I did when it going Ulta um, the other day and I picked up warm coconut as well as coconut so I used 355 coconut in the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless so I was like hmm coconut warm coconut let's see which one matches me the best and um, yeah I picked up a few other goodies so I'll talk about those when we get to that part of the video but right now we're just going to jump right into the eyes I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill um, palette by Morphe and um, I'm also going to be using the Artist Couture Jackie Ina collaboration, the Diamond Glow Powder in La Peach. I'm just going to take a transition color and I'm going to go right into my crease. And you can build this up to your liking as much as you want. Um, this look does not take much. Just, it's very, very simple. And I'm just going back and forth. Excuse me, you guys. I have a sinus infection, but I really wanted to do this video. Like, I really wanted to film a Valentine's Day look. And I know I'm last minute, but y'all got one more day. It goes outside the box. It's not your typical, you know, pink and like red and all that and those are classic looks don't get me wrong but mm, I just want to do something different and I've been feeling like this peachy vibes like I've been out here for it but yeah so just building that transition color up then we're going to go a little bit deeper I'm actually going to take the same brush and these brushes do not have numbers it was just in a what was this called? This was the I Slay six piece um, brush collection and case and came in a little rose gold case like this, which matches the theme of this video, right? Alright. So I'm actually going to go in a little bit deeper and we're going to go right under that color. I'm just going right under that first transition color and again, we're just going back and forth. Adding some dimension. our eyes I'm gonna go in with a chocolate brown and I'm just gonna take a one of the smaller pencil brushes because I'm really gonna focus this on the outer V and yeah, you really want when you're dealing with dark colors you really want to pat off the excess because you don't want it to be like boom bam in your face and then it'll be hard for you to blend out so make sure you tapping off the excess and just go slow now we're gonna go in with the Jackie Iron. I'm gonna take that same flat brush actually I'm gonna take a smaller brush this is a MAC 228 brush so I'm just gonna take this and really all you need is the lid all you need, I just use what's in my lid because what's in the top just because it's powerful. When I say it is powerful, like Auntie Jackie like did her thing. Like, you just want to keep adding it on, don't you? Like, like I can add this all day, all day. But basically, that is the eye look. I'm just going to go in and clean around that. Just blend around where we just added that glitter. And we are going to move on to foundation. I'm actually going to try the warm coconut color. And I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender so 
already wet. Now, let's just appreciate that drugstore has a pump. Ain't that bomb? Like, they have a pump. <sighs> These um, airplanes. I can't. Like, I can't. So, like, they got a, like, they got a pump. Come on, Maybelline. Y'all better come through. A few pumps. And just gonna do it on the bottom of my beauty blender. And I'm just going to blend this in all over my face. Oh, orange. Pumpkin. Mmm. I need a brush. Mm -mm. I need a brush, honey. Like, let's get this blended on into this skin before it dries because it is full coverage it is matte oh yeah compared to like this is really orange but we're gonna make it work oh pumpkin come on pumpkin you better work. This is the Maybelline New York Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. Um, and I got the shade, what's this, 60 Deep. So we're going to go in with this. Again, I've never tried this before. So I do like the color of the concealer. And then I'm going to blend, blend this out. Okay, so so this looks a little bit better once you add the concealer, it kind of tones down that orange pumpkin look. But of course, I'm an oily girl, so we're definitely gonna set this. But first impressions, this concealer is not bad at all. Like it is super lightweight. It blends out very, very nice. So I am not mad at the base at all. Like I love. Like it looks seamless. Honestly, I like to set my under eye with a yellow powder. I use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Um, you can get these from Amazon. You can also go on Sasha Cosmetics and get it on her website. Um, but I just like to take, I don't like to bake at all because I'm, I don't like it to be super dry. So I just tap off the excess and then I just sweep this under my eye just like that. And then what I've been doing is I've been taking my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark and just a flat top brush and I just... Pat that in to make it look more natural. Now to set my foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder in the what is this shade? 218 Chocolate. And basically, I just take a big powder brush like this, and this is from Morphe, and I just set the rest of my face. So for my contour i'm going to use the um black radiance true complexion contour palette the medium to dark one and i'm going to take of course the contour and the highlight in this is bomb as well like for this to be drugstore this is bomb honestly it's bomb dab that in there Now, I love my nose, so I do not contour my nose. I just sweep over it like that. I'm, no, I'm back out of time for that. 
Yes, hunty. Now for this blush. Hmm. So we're going to take the California by Benefit. An angle brush. This is from Morphe as well. And I'm just going to... Like, it is so pretty. And for highlighter, I'm going to take a little bit, just a little bit of... Um, I'm going to start with my um, Old Faithful, my Sonia Kashuk um, Goddess... Jonathan would be like, where are you going? Like, what does it do? And it's just, mm, it's just a little extra, you know, like you glow from within, you know. Jonathan be like, <laughs> like, baby, what does highlighter do? Like, it's everything. Everything. Oh. And then I'm going to take some on my nose. Well, what's really going to set it off, y'all, is this little peach. This going to apply some mascara off camera and then I will come back and do the lips okay guys so as you can see I added some mascara and changed clothes I'm just gonna take my um, Mac cosmetics um, lip pencil in the color chestnut to line my lips and I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Color in the shade number 70, um, Amazonian. So it's really, really um, peachy nude, and I love it. Like, I've been obsessed with this color, and I love the formula of this. It has, like, a minty feeling that it leaves on the lips, so I'm just going to take that and put on my lips. So guys, that concludes this video. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed um, this the makeup look. It's just a last minute, non-traditional makeup look for Valentine's Day. Very sexy, very glowy. I love it. I hope you guys um, try, try out some of these products. If you've already tried some of these products, let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Let me know if you've learned some new things or like some products that you've been wanting to try. Let me know about that as well. All the makeup use will be listed below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys in my next